Union and Intersection. Ano yung pagkakaiba nila? Alamin sa video na to. Hi learners, today we're going to talk about operations on sets. So we have uh, four operations on sets. This time we're going to discuss the first two. So we have intersection and union. So ano ba yung pagkakaiba nilang dalawa? So I have here Venn diagram to illustrate kung ano yung intersection, ano din yung union. Let's start with intersection. So by definition, the intersection of sets A and B written A intersect B or the intersection of A and B, this would be our symbol for intersection, is the set containing the elements that are in both A and B. Sa madaling salita, ito yung mga elements na common kay set A at kay set B. So, kung titignan natin yung Venn diagram, sa ang banda dito yung intersection ni set A and B. Okay. So, yung common na uh, yung common nila would be this part. This part of the Venn diagram represents the intersection of the two sets A and B. So, yung keyword natin for intersection would be the word common. How about union? When we say union, the union of sets A and B written A union B is the set of all elements that are in A or in B or in both A and B. So, sa madaling salita, kahit saan napabilang yung element. Pwede nasa A lang siya, nasa B, or nasa, parehas, nasa parehong A and B. So, sa Venn diagram, ang union ng, A, uh, ng sets A and B would be like this. So, mapapansin natin lahat ng... So, mapapansin natin lahat ng parts ng sets A and B ay shaded. Tapos, yung, uh, yung keyword naman natin para sa union would be the word combination. So, we're going to combine the elements of both set A and set B. So, para mas lalo maintindihan, I'm going to give examples. So, para mas lalo natin maintindihan, I have here an example. Given sets A, B, and C, we have set A. Uh, uh, set A has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Set B uh, has the elements 2, 4, 6. Set C is equal to 4, 5, 7. And set D is equal to 1, 9, and 10. Okay. Let's try looking for the following. So, we have here intersection and union. So, again, pag sinabi natin intersection, we are looking for the common elements. Pag sinabi naman natin union, we are going to combine the elements of both sets. Let's have uh, problem number one. A, or the intersection of A and C. Okay, again, this will be read as the intersection of A and C. Or, A intersect C. Pwede rin ganyan. So, ano yung mga common elements ni A at ni C. So, titignan natin si set A and set C. Ano yung mga elements na common sa dalawa? We have 5 and we also have 7. Therefore, ang magiging sagot natin dito would be 5 and 7. Okay? Kasi ito yung mga common elements ni, or ni, nila set A and set C. How about number 2? The union of set C and B. Or, pwede rin natin basahin as C union B. In this case, what we're going to do, kukunin natin or isulat natin lahat ng elements ni C at ikukumbine natin sa elements ni B. So, ililista lang natin lahat ng elements nila. So, ano yung mga elements ni set C? Ang elements ni set C ay 4, 5, 7. So, we're going to write 4, 5, 7. And we're going to continue it by writing the elements of set B. So, ano yung mga elements ni set B? We have 2, 
4 and 6. So, isusulat natin 2. Now, kailangan pa bang isulat si 4? Since nasulat na natin si 4, there's no need na isulat siya ulit. Again, repetition of elements is immaterial or not important. So, okay na na hindi natin isulat si ulit si uh, element 4. So, we're going to proceed with what? 6. So, ito na yung magiging final answer natin. So, again, you can write these or the elements in any order. Next, how about the intersection of set A and B? So, titignan natin si, si A and B. Titignan natin kung may common ba na elements sa kanila. So, kung mapapansin natin, walang elements na magkaparehas sa set A and B. So, since wala, ano yung magiging sagot natin? Okay. So, magiging sagot natin would be a null set or an empty set. Okay. Kasi nga, walang common sa kanilang dalawa. Next, how about number 4? The intersection of set D and A or D intersect A. Ano yung common sa kanila? We have A and D. So, we have 1 and we also have 9. So, yung sagot natin would be 1 and 9. Okay. How about the next uh, problem? The intersection of set C and D. So, again, titignan natin set C and D. Ano yung common sa kanila? Set C, we have 4, 5, 7. Set D, we have 1, 9, and 10. So, kung mapapansin natin walang common na number sa kanila or element, therefore, ang sagot natin is a null set or an empty set. Okay. okay, the last number, we have the union of set B and set D. So, pag sinabing union, we're going to combine the elements of the two sets. So, ang elements ni set B would be 2, 4, and 6. 2, 4, 6. Tapos, idudugtong lang natin yung mga elements ni set D. So, ano yung mga elements ni set D? We have 1, 9, and 10. 1, 9, and 10. So, this would be our final answer. In addition, kung ang dalawang sets ay walang common elements, we call them as disjoint sets. So, ang third set operation natin ay tinatawag natin na difference of two sets. So, let's define it first. The difference of set B from set A, denoted as A minus B, is the elements in A but not in B. For example, uh, we have set A, dog, cat, rat, and bird. And we also have set B, cat, horse, and pig. So, let's find A minus B or the difference between A and B. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Ang pinakaw natin gawin is that we need to focus on the first set. Okay. Dito, sa given natin, ang first set would be set A. So, alamin lang natin or susulat natin yung mga elements ni set A na hindi natin makikita sa set B. Okay, ano kaya yung mga elements? So, papansinin natin ang set A, we have the elements dog, cat, rat, and bird. Okay. Saan or anong mga elements dito ang hindi natin makikita sa set B? Okay. Ang mga elements na hindi natin makikita sa set B ay sina dog, rat, and bird. So madaling salita, ang sagot natin sa A minus B, it would be dog, rat, and bird. Kasi nga, ito yung mga elements na nasa A pero wala sa set B. Okay, bakit tinanggal natin si cat? Kasi nga, ang cat ay makikita natin sa set B. Okay, second problem. B minus A. Balik tayo natin. So, focus again tayo sa set or sa unang set na binigay. Set B. Ano yung mga elements sa set B na hindi natin makikita sa set A? Okay. So, kung papansinin natin, 
papansinin natin, ang force at ang P ay ang mga elements na nasa set B pero wala sa set A. Sa madaling salita, ang sagot natin would be force and P. Bakit hindi sinulat si Kat? Kasi nga, ang element na Kat ay makikita sa set B and at the same time, makikita rin sa set A. Okay, let's have another set of examples. Let us say, let F, uh, we have to set F is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And set G, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, let's try finding F minus G and G minus F. Okay, minahin muna natin si set F minus G. So, again, ang isusulat natin na sagot, ay yung mga elements na makikita sa set F pero hindi makikita sa set G. Okay? So ano yung mga numbers? Ang 1, hindi makikita sa set G kaya isusulat natin siya sa sagot. How about 3? 5? Okay, hindi natin pwede isulat si 5 kasi nga si 5 ay makikita natin sa set G. Okay. How about 7? Okay, hindi rin pwede kasi nga si, set, uh, si element 7 ay makikita natin sa second set. How about 9? Okay, 9, hindi natin siya makikita sa set G, kaya ilalagay natin siya sa... Therefore, ang F minus G, or the difference between F and G, or set F and G, is equal to 1, 3, and 9. Okay, next example, kung balikta rin natin, G minus F. So, ibig sabihin nito, ano yung mga elements na nasa G pero hindi makikita sa set F? Okay. So, ano yung mga elements sa G na wala sa set F? So, ang mga elements na nasa set G ay si 4, 6, and 8. Si 4, 6, and 8 ay makikita sa set G pero hindi makikita sa set F. Kaya yung final answer natin sa G minus F, it would be equal to 4, 6, and 8. At ang panghuling operation ng set natin ay tinatawag natin na complement of a set. So by definition, the complement of a set A written A complement is the elements in the universal set that are not in A or set A. Okay. Ano bang ibig sabihin yan? We have here an example. Given the universal set 1, 3, 5, 8, 9, 10 and the sets A, B, C, and D, we're going to solve now the complements of the following sets. Uh, problem number one, A complement or the complement of set A. Ang elements ng set A ay 1 and 5. So, pag sinabi natin A complement, ano yung mga elements na wala sa set A pero makikita natin sa universal set? So, yung mga elements na yun ay sina 3, 8, 9, and 10. Again, ito yung mga elements na wala sa set A Pero, makikita natin sa universal set. Okay, let's have problem number 2. B complement or the complement of set B. So again, titignan natin yung set B. Ang set B, ang elements niya ay A, 10, and 3. So yung sagot natin, dapat walang A, 10, and 3. Ano yung magiging sagot natin? Titignin, uh, titignan tayo ngayon sa universal set. Ano yung mga elements dito na wala sa set B? Okay. So, magiging sagot natin ay 1. Bakit 1? Kasi nga si 1 ay wala sa uh, set B. Next would be 5. Si 5 ay nasa universal set pero wala sa set B. Next would be 9. Okay, so the answer would be 1, 5, 9. Or the complement of set B is equal to 1, 5, and 9. Now, let's have the third problem. We have here the complement of set D or D complement. 
So, ang elements ng set D ay sina 3, 8, 9, and 10. Ibig sabihin ng complement niya, ano yung wala dito sa set D, pero makikita natin sa universal set. So, sa madaling salita, ang sagot natin ay magiging equal to 1 and 5. Last problem, we have C complement or the complement of set C. So, ang elements ng set C or ang element niya is equal to 9. So, pag sinabi natin complement of set C, ano yung uh, ano yung mga elements na wala sa set C pero makikita natin sa universal set. Okay, ano yung magiging sagot natin? So, we are going to write 1, 3, 5, 8, and 10. Therefore, this is the final answer for the complement of set C. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.